All right, we are here with Denise Zamboanga, the menace. Denise, great to see you again. How is everything going with you? Um, everything's fine. Um, staying healthy, staying active, and staying ready for Grand Prix. <laughs> uh, they finally announced it. It's been taking a little longer than we expected. What was that like for you for the last few months, just kind of waiting for it to be confirmed? Was it a bit frustrating? It took so long? Um, for me, like, I was um, confused. And I was thinking if it's, if it's really happening or what. <laughs> but, but now I'm happy that um, it will happen soon. Did it affect your training? Because you didn't know who your opponent was going to be. So you, were you just kind of covering all bases, staying sharp, just keeping ready for anyone? I think um, um, it, it, it may affect like um, a little bit, but not that affect too much because um, uh, I need to study most all of them. So... For me, it's fine. I think this this time, like two months of being ready for for my opponent is enough. Yeah, and they have also finally confirmed the the brackets for the tournament as well. You're going to be up against Hamshio. He, mm -hmm. you know, what's your thoughts on that? Are you relishing the challenge? It's a really tough matchup right from the start, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, um, I think this is the biggest challenge. Um, I'm gonna face in the tournament because she's the most experienced fighter. Most um, um, she's most experienced fighter. She's the I think for for me she's she's the toughest among all the fighters and the most dangerous. Yeah, and I guess you're gonna maybe have to beat her anyway if you're gonna win the whole thing. So why not face her straight away? <laughs> like. Um, it, it's gonna be big challenge for first round. <laughs> Did that annoy you slightly? Because you're the number one contender. Uh, you were already maybe gonna have a title shot before the Grand Prix announced. Do you think they maybe should have based the the tournament brackets on rankings and maybe done some seeding? And you know, you, if you were number one, you would face someone who's kind of the eighth uh, in terms of ranking or seeding. Um, for me, it doesn't matter who's gonna, who's I'm gonna face because for me, if you're really um, the top one or, or if you're really a champion, um, whoever your opponent or you're gonna fight with, you can face whoever it is. And Ham obviously comes in with a really big reputation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you um, does that motivate you a bit more to? prove everyone wrong if, if people think she's now the favorite do you want to show them no hang on i should be the favorite for this tournament <laughs> yeah for, for me like um i'm used to to be like underdog as always and for me it's better if they if they look forward with ham because um she had like multiple Title, title belts in different different organizations. So for me, if I beat her, that will prove them wrong. <laughs> yeah, and what do you think of the other matches? I'll, I'll bring them up on screen. I don't know if you can see it, but um, oh, I'm missing a background there. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, Denise against Sirohi Ham. And then on the other side of your bracket, you've got Aliona Rosahina against Stamp Fairtex, a rematch. Stamp tapped out, a little bit of controversy in that one. Who, who do you think takes that fight? Yeah, both of them are great fighters, but um, based on the last fight, I think this time Stamp's going to win. <laughs> Yeah, you used to train with Stamp, right, in, in Fairtex. Um, so you could potentially meet her in the semifinals. Would that be strange for you to have to fight a friend? I don't know. Maybe both of, both of us um, doesn't want to fight each other. But this is what it is. This is our career. Um, just, fight, just a fight, but no personal. And then the other side, you have 
Itsuki Hirata against Elise Anderson, Elise, uh, former Invicta FC, I think, and she's making her debut in one. You've got to think Itsuki Hirata is the favorite there. I think Itsuki is the favorite there. <laughs> she got a lot of fans and Itsuki has a lot of surprise. And what about Meng Bo and Ritu Fogat? Ritu obviously still undefeated, but pretty new to MMA and Meng Bo also young, but a lot more experienced, I would say. And she's shown what she can do in one championship. Uh, would you say Meng Bo is also the favorite? I think it's hard to decide because Meng Bo is a good striking, like she has not a lot of power and Ritu has a very good, like excellent wrestling skills. I don't know what to say, but I don't know <laughs> who's, who's the favorite different. Who, who would you expect to meet in the final? If, if you get to the final, who do you think is going to be on the other side of the circle from you? I don't know. Maybe it's Yuki or Mambo. Yeah, I, I, I think that's definitely for me, I think the other semi-final if I was going to bet on it or gamble. But, you know, anything can happen in a Grand Prix con it. There's yeah. always a lot of surprises. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to say. <laughs> Were you surprised that uh, Mei Yamaguchi wasn't involved in the Grand Prix and, and Lin Hee Quinn because they were ranked number two and three, I think. Um, was that a shock for you to not see them here? I was shocked because I thought the, the top five will automatically be in the Grand Prix, right? Because they were in, in top five. And May has a lot of experience, especially, especially in one championship. She has a lot of matches in one championship. That's why I'm surprised that she wasn't there. And there's a fighter who hasn't fight in one championship, but was there. <laughs> Maybe they really put like the best fighter in every country. Yeah, it seems to be the theme is there's one fighter from each country, right? So I guess they chose Meng Bo over Lin and they chose Itsuki over Mei. But do you think Mei and Lin might be used as alternates in case there's any injuries? You could see them coming in. They should be. <laughs> Great to get your thoughts, Denise, on the Grand Prix. And I really thank you for catching up with me. It's been great. I, li I like the shirt as well. Chicago Bulls fan, I see. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate your time, Denise, and good luck with all the training. And I'm sure I'll catch up with you again closer to the fight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.